Hi guys, Smith & Wesson Airweight Hammerless 38 Special Plus P. So what we're doing to this is we're putting in a Wilson Combat J-Frame Spring Kit. The kit comes with a hammer spring and there's three uh, trigger return springs. I'm going to start off by putting in the lightest one and see if it returns. If not, step it up to, to the uh, heaviest one. To start off, we're going to do a quick baseline on the trigger. 11 pounds, 13.7 ounces. 10 pounds, 3.4 ounces. 9 pounds, 2.5 ounces. Average, 10 pounds, 6.5. Breaking it down, we've got to get the grips off first. A lot of dirt on that screw. I'm going to first just slack off the screws. Piece of spring from a old shotgun uh, magazine tube. I'm going to pull that back and stage the trigger and get that pin through there. We'll get that piece of spring through there. Now that holds, takes the pressure off the hammer spring. Now I'll get the, the springs, the screws out of the, the rest of the way out of the frame. And the front screw is different to the rest. Uh, it's got a little plunger on that interacts on the cylinder crane. I'm going to keep. I'm going to put the screws back where I got them out, just because I can. Okay. Let me just wrap the, the frame lightly. And it's coming out. It's tight. It's starting to separate. Okay. That, uh, that came out. There we go. I'm not going to take any of uh, the rest of it apart. All I'm going to be doing is replacing that spring and that spring. So I'm just going to get that out and put a lighter spring in. The rest is just going to stay as is. Got that little tool in the wheeler box. And it seems to do the trick. The regular Smith tool does not fit. There we go. Okay, we got the 13 pound spring to go back in there. Um, it is purple in color for whatever reason. Again, using that little tool to do it with. And it is in. Now we can replace this. If I take my spring out that cup's going to come out and i can put the other spring in it's also purple okay pushing down on the bench getting the spring out getting that cup off getting that spring out new spring is slightly shorter and it is of a thinner gauge captured get the rod into the hammer and
करते हैं I'm holding that spring in place so it doesn't jump out on me. Pull that in. Screws. There you go, all good. It's really uh, does feel lighter. Let's see what the trigger pull gauge says. Five pounds, five point five. Four pounds, thirteen point two. Four pounds, ten point six. Average, four pounds, fifteen point two. There you go, fired it, five shots, no light strikes, trigger resets or returns properly, no, uh, no issues. That's it guys, hope you found that interesting, stay safe, we talk again, cheers.